We asked David Page what his favorite lineup was for Toto. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. You know, after I talked to John Hellowell of Supertramp, uh, I went into uh, Bob Siebenberg, their drummer. I went into their, uh, I also want to share this with, I went into the, his website and he has the Roger Hodgson era of the, where he so shows where he played. Rod, he says, Supertramp won. And, and then after Roger left, he puts it as Supertramp 2. And it's like a, a Deep Purple. You know, how, you know how they do it? They mark one, a, a Deep Purple, mark two for different, because bands are going to change members because yeah. shit happens in life, right? They do, they do. Is there, a, is there an era or a, a version of Toto that you like more than the other that stands out? Uh, I like when we did uh, Kingdom of Desire. I like it when it was a, like a quartet. It was me, I think, uh, Jeff and Mike and Luke, you know, and Steve Bacaro, of course, was doing overdubs for us. But we had a quartet that we wrote an album for, you know, and I think that's the one Bob Clearmountain mixed and Greg Madani uh, recorded. But uh, uh, I'll always have a place in my heart for the first uh, Toto uh, albums, you know, that we did up and through Toto 4, you know, which was uh, myself, uh, David Hungate, Jeff Percaro, Steve Lukather, Bobby Kimball, and Steve Percaro. I think that was a great uh, combination of players. And uh, every um, uh, other band uh, that's been since then has been, it's, uh, uh, I've loved it in, their, in different ways, you know what I mean? Different configurations for the band. And so, uh, but I think that first one was, uh, is one of my favorites. The Dune soundtrack. Well, tell me about the making of that because all of us, I was, and in no disrespect, but I didn't put you guys in that. When I heard, I remember it might've been entertainment tonight or something with Mary yeah. Hart's. They had mentioned that, that, that you guys were doing the soundtrack. And I remember I was pleasantly surprised, but I was so surprised that you were doing it in the first place. Tell me about that experience and how you got that gig. And we got that gig. We, first of all, we heard Ridley Scott was directing it originally. And uh, we were very excited about that, you know, and someone said, well, you're up for, you know, there's you, your name has been tossed on, on, in the hat. You're on the radar, on their radar. And we're like, really? And that would be very cool. And we had just done total four and wanted to take some time off and, uh, and uh, do different things. And so it was perfect. Cause I'd always wanted to do a movie. And uh, I know queen had done uh uh, that movie that they had done the music for. I forget which oh, one. Oh, Flash Gordon. Yeah, Flash Gordon. And uh, uh, I got a call that they were meeting, they were down filming down in Mexico. And they wanted to fly me down there and bring something with me, bring me some music that could uh, that I could play them, you know. So the first uh, uh, I wrote uh, in my head, I, I wrote the, the main theme to Dune before I got down there thinking, you know, I want to see a big, like Lawrence of Arabia with the desert blowing, Dino De Laurentiis presents, you know? And so I got down there and David Lynch came up to me and he, he had a Walkman on and he put the Walkman on my head and he said, can you do this kind of music? And it was Shostakovich music. It was symphonic, but very slow, very dark and very low and said, can you do this? And I said, I'm your guy, you know? Yes, yes, I can ride that horse. I can do anything, you know, at the time. I got to Max, meet Max von Sydow down there, which was a real honor. And uh, I was just, he goes, fine, he goes, you got the gig, you have it, you know? And uh, so Toto started working on it. We hadn't done a movie together, but we'd, uh, 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 we decided that I was gonna go off to Vienna and record the orchestral music while Toto was going to be, be doing uh, kind of sound design stuff and all the percussion, all the percussion stuff with Hypercar was playing on snare drums and stuff too. With the with leading percussionists, we got to uh, uh, do the uh, percussion on the Dune record. And, uh, and Luke, of course, did some brilliant guitar sounds and, uh, so it was a, it was an experimental again a transformative time for us and very experimental, but uh, uh, it was a it was a challenge, you know. I find uh, in my Luke and I had talked about you know having autistic kids, 
But I found through my autistic daughter, I, I, I realized something about myself. And then everyone says, well, I'm like that too. Where that if I'm concentrating, like today after this interview, I'm going to start chopping this up. But I'm not going yeah. to do anything else but chop it up. And if I do anything else, I start losing my focus. And uh, But I, that's how I'm, I, I work. Are you, what are you like when you were doing a, a project like that? That's a completely different animal. You can just do yeah. that. Yeah, no, that, that was, a, again, a challenge for the time. I mean, you had a thing called a key lock that had to sync the machines up. We were on, uh, you know, uh, to sync multi-track machines up. And it was hard. It was, it was a learning process for all of us we were going through because we were trying to uh, stay on the edge, uh, on the cutting edge there. And uh, uh, again, it's it, it it was we were so used to, p to putting on these thinking caps. But when we when we uh, uh, decided to do Dune, uh, it kind of really pushed our pushed our limits as to what we've been able to do. You know, but again, we thought we were, uh, uh, you know, we could do anything at the time. We had a lot of confidence, and so and we were we, we wanted to challenge ourselves, get out of our comfort zone. There, you know. Forgotten Toys is the brand new EP from David Page. It's a long time coming. He spent his whole life working with a whole bunch of musicians. We'll have links to the Toto website where you can pick it up in the description. Make sure you like our video. Keep in mind the entire first interview is online right now. We'll have a link to it. And keep looking back for links to the brand new interview in its entirety. We'll be having that up in the next couple of weeks. And there'll be a link in the description. Subscribe to our channel, share our videos, and comment. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Take care of yourself.